Now, three years ago, North Korean leader Kim Jong Un assumed leadership of the Korean People's Army, and today, as the North celebrates the occasion, it's ever more clear that Kim has a firm grip on the powerful military he controls. Our Lee Jun tells us more. North Korea has one of the world's biggest armies, and Tuesday marks the third anniversary since its leader Kim Jong Un was officially appointed to the position of Supreme Commander of the Korean People's Army. With eyes on how the young leader will continue to craft his leadership in the years to come, Kim has largely cemented his place as a powerful military leader. The North's official Korean Central News Agency reported on Monday that Pyongyang held a national meeting to further pledge their loyalty to Kim. At the meeting, Army General Ri Yong Gil praised Kim as a quote, brilliant commander who is training the army to be politically, ideologically, and morally strong. Earlier this year, Kim reshuffled the cabinet, promoting four star General Hyun Young Chul as the Minister of the Korean People's Army in an attempt to strengthen his grip on the military. Senior party officials Kim Gi Nam and Choi Tae Bok were also at the meeting. However, Choi Ryong Hae, who's considered the second most powerful figure in North Korea, was not seen. Ever since former leader Kim Jong Il died of a heart attack in 2011, the younger Kim has carried out much of the same policies as his father, including overseeing the country's massive military. Lee Jun, Arirang News.